Well, my name is Mr. Polk, and I teach here at the high school. Uh, I teach two different programs. I teach the, the pre-engineering program, Project Lead the Way. Uh, I teach the capstone course, Engineering Design and Development. And then I also teach uh, the Computer Integrated Manufacturing. And then the, the second course I teach is through the Family and Consumer Science classes. I teach the Chefs courses. I teach Chefs 1, and I teach Chefs 2. So what did you actually go to school to do? Uh, my official major is in Tech Ed. I went to Millersville. Uh, I got my degree there in, in, in teaching tech ed, uh, and that's kind of where I'd started. Uh, cooking has always been kind of a passion. I started it in, in the Boy Scouts and uh, worked in uh, some of our uh, different events that we do, uh, Order the Arrow weekends. Uh, the first time I really got my feet wet in the kitchen, I was cooking for about maybe four or 500 people, uh, and that's when I was in probably eighth grade. Uh, so it was, it's kind of been a, a passion, but uh, when I was looking at colleges, I, I picked Millersville and went for tech ed at that time. Do you have any inspirations, like what inspired you to start teaching? Uh, my inspiration for teaching uh, kind of came twofold. Uh, part of it is through uh, my, my Boy Scout experience. I used to work at summer camps. Uh, I was program director. I was director of different areas. I actually was an archery director at one time. Uh, then I, uh, when I was in college, I was director of the handicraft area. Um, and traditionally, it was just kind of like wood carving, basketry, but I took it up to uh, we, we started doing uh, metalwork, uh, plumbing, home repairs, those kind of merit badges. And the camp that I went to, Camp Trexler, still runs that program strong. And a lot of camps have mimicked that, um, kind of getting that going. Uh, and the other side of it is my, my tech teacher from high school, uh, Mr. Sagerwalt, uh, I, I took, he taught the graphics program. I took a lot of the graphics courses with him, and it kind of got me into. And he was a Billersville grad, and that's just kind of where I gravitated to. Do you have any hobbies, like, outside of school? Yeah. Uh guess it's not too much of a hobby when I get paid for it, but uh, definitely uh, cooking and, and, and pastry arts is a, is a hobby of mine. Uh, currently, I'm the, the pastry chef at the Crown Plaza Hotel um, in uh, Why I'm Missing. Uh, and there, it's kind of a neat setup. Uh, I do uh, upper-end desserts. I do wedding cakes. Um, I have a, a, a nice studio where I work at. And then in the studio, I also have a, a spot where I have a, a counter and I can do um, chocolate tastings and dessert tastings. I do dessert classes as well. Uh, just the other week, I, I did a, a team building activity that was like a cutthroat kitchen where they had a bid on stuff and get sabotages. So I, I get a chance to do a lot of neat things there and, and really use my talents. Is it hard going back and forth with two completely different subjects? It it uh it gets a little tricky. Uh, it's definitely all about timing, uh, as as the students will tell you. Definitely, uh, you know, I, I get warm. You know, I, when I'm running back and forth, it, it gets a little crazy. Uh, but uh, it, 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 it's kind of nice. I'll tell you what, the day goes by quickly. And, you know, I, 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 in the morning I go back and forth. I go from Chefs 2 to Engineering and back again. And as long as you're, you know, organized, you know, you got to be ready. Like in the food labs, I got to have everything visa plus and ready and up here. I have everything ready to go and, and have the equipment out that we need. But it definitely makes the day go by quickly, that's for sure. Pretty cool. Lots to teach. So one last question. Do you have any suggestions for students who are looking for uh, like a good career to get into? Uh, there's plenty that, that one can get into. I mean, between the two topics that I teach, there's, there's plenty of careers in there. Um, the careers in the engineering field are obviously kind of endless there. Uh, and we do have a lot of students that go on to college and have graduated and have work, work in some pretty nice engineering firms right now. Uh, a couple of my students here at Quaker Town are at some different really nice areas. Uh, and then also in the, in the food area, uh, if it's something you're, you're thinking about, um, obviously you can work in the industry itself, but there's also a lot of offshoots, um, just like you're doing here with uh, production and, and advertising and, and foods is a big one, marketing. Uh, there's food blogs are popular right now. And you can, there's, so there's a lot of things that you, know, you could take the, the culinary side, even with photography, food styling, food photography, and you can go a lot of different ways. There's a lot you can do. Very cool. Thank you for your time, Mr. Polk.